and I melted the entire graphic. Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. We are actually going to do an alcohol ink swirl tumbler. Not the one that you usually think of when you hear the term alcohol ink swirl. This is not going to be alcohol inks dropped on resin and then swirled with some white. That's that's not what we're doing. We already have our tumbler. This is a 20 skinny straight from Makerflow. I sanded it, washed it, spray painted it matte white, and then I put a layer of resin on this already and into the resin I mixed some 504. This this is an opal iridescent 0 0.008 cut, so ultra fine glitter from Mr. Knowles Glitter. And now that this is cured, the next day we have a beautiful smooth surface, and that's what we're going to put our alcohol inks on, except we're going to do it with a water slide. Now, I cannot take any credit for this at all. I saw this on Domestic Goddess Creations. I will link to her channel below. She only has a few Tumblr videos up so far, but they are amazing, and I strongly suggest you follow her just to see what she's going to do next because this this just never occurred to me and it's a great idea instead of messing around with alcohol inks on the tumbler and having them maybe go where you want and maybe not go where you want you can put them on a piece of water slide decal paper this is hippo h-i-i-p-o-o -O, water slide decal paper that i love to use i have spray painted it with two layers of gloss clear Rust-Oleum spray paint, and then a third layer of Plasti Dip Glossifier. And we are ready to go now. This is it. This is my alcohol ink design that we're gonna wrap on a cup. And then we're gonna do something else to it, but this is the beginning anyway. Because I would like to take this idea she had and do a slightly different take on it, just, you know, just so it's not a direct copy, I guess. <laughs> so there's our water slide. I'm gonna put it face down and pour the water in. Get it all wet. And apparently most of the table as well. <laughs> Make sure it's all good and submerged in there. Some paper towels. I've got my silicone brush, which is a squeegee tool for this purpose. I decided to arrange these and print them out using the program Inkscape. It's a free graphic program that you can download on the internet. If you prefer to use your Cricut Design Space program, obviously this is too long for their constraint of 9.25 inches in length. So what you would do in that case is design this, put everything where you want it, and then basically cut it apart in the middle. And then you can print it out as two pieces and piece them together on the cup, which you have seen me do in other videos like the fairy garden on a tumbler that was pieced together from two bigger pieces that I could print and cut in design space. I will link to that video below if you don't know what I'm talking about and you'd like to see. Actually, I want this to be at the bottom, so we'll just do this. Get your silicone tool wet and use that to squeegee out all the bubbles and the wrinkles and the water that's underneath the water slide so it's lying flat onto the cup. All right, that looks pretty good. So I have this really pretty swirl all the way around the tumbler. All these gorgeous alcohol inks that I didn't even have to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let this thoroughly dry. I'm going to put another layer of resin on top of it, and that will just be clear. I won't put any additive into it. Then I will bring you back at that point because we are going to do that one other thing I mentioned to add an extra twist to this. So I'll see you back here in a blink of an eye. And we're back. Okay, so this has a layer of resin on it now, and I'm going to do this extra step I mentioned, which is I'm going to emboss some metallic lines on here. I didn't put the accents on using the embossing powder after I put the water slide on because I have actually <laughs> made the mistake of using my heat gun to try and dry water slides more quickly so I could get the process going where I could put resin on it, and I melted 
the entire graphic. So word of warning there. So I figured resin would protect the water slide we put on and now I will endeavor to draw some lines. You've seen me do this before. I will link to that video below. I did that directly on top of dried alcohol ink. But again, this is a water slide situation. So I'm gonna use my embossing pen. This is an emboss it pen from Ranger. I believe I got it off Amazon. I will link to everything below. And you can just draw a line anywhere you want, and it stays wet a longer time than a regular marker would. And then you take your embossing powder and you sprinkle it on. Take a nice fluffy brush and just brush off the excess from around it and then take your heat gun. You do want to move this and not keep it pointed at the resin very long, so you're not trying to make the resin sticky or anything. You're just trying to melt the embossing powder. There it goes. See it? So as soon as you see it melted, just stop. Paint on some more. I'm not going to go around covering up all the lines. I just thought I'd show you another way to get some accents on your tumblers. Hopefully that shows up close. It is melted, so it's not individual um, plastic beads anymore. It is now a melted line that's on there. So you just go around the cup and put on any accent you want. I've got copper accents and gold accents. I think that's gorgeous. I'm gonna put another layer of resin on this. This sparkles so much, I have no interest in adding any rainbow additive to the, to the resin. So next time you see it, should be the big reveal out in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. 